What's going on? Dynamic Duel is back in the building on this TV, TV Tuesday evening. <laughs> uh, Snickers over 50. I got a nice little drop for you guys that I uh, was quite lucky on Saturday. Uh, before we get in, into that, I didn't get a chance to uh, give our thoughts on the last dance that came out Sunday which would be the last and sixth championship for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, what what'd you think of it? I Mom? liked it. I, I I really enjoyed it, both first and second episode. There are things in there I didn't know about, and um, it's pretty interesting to see the backstory. <laughs> don't ask if you don't want to know. I think the thing that got me the most, which I knew Pippin and, uh, well, what's the guy's name? Cross. Little midget cross were having issues. I did not know he was that underpaid. That that blew my mind. I mean, he did sign his contract, and you know what are you gonna do? But man, that that blew my mind. He was that underpaid, and you at that time, hands down, was the second best NBA player during that time. Uh, and if you think differently, let me know in the comments. But man, that that like the dynamic duo here. That's what Jordan and Pippen were. That was I'm Pippen. Yeah, I I'm am MJ. underpaid. <laughs> I'm underpaid <laughs> and underappreciated. But I am very much looking forward to seeing those next episodes because uh, that was just a mind blower. I mean, everybody already knows how uh, Michael Jordan's psyche was when it comes to the basketball court and basically all aspects of his life. So that was nothing new to me. The dude likes to win. I don't see an issue with it. But uh, Pippen, that was that was a mind blower. I think it was two point three million or something. He was getting a year or something like that, which was what fifth or sixth on the team. I don't know. Behind Kukot and Robin and all them. Oh. Anyway, before we get in this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, bang that like button because that's what we need over here, and uh, <clears throat> turn on those notifications so you know we're dropping these hot videos. So that being said, as I stated earlier, we had a very very good weekend when it came to shoes. Uh, and one thing I did pick up among a couple little items here and there, just things that were on sale that I didn't want to pay retail for that I picked up. I got the uh, Jordan 1 Black Satins. Uh, I think those were 160 retail. I got those for like 95 bucks. Um, I got another pair of Jordan 14s, the Black Ferraris for like $100. I mean, there's deals out there. You just need to be patient. They're just dropping deals in your lap. If you're able to get them, take advantage, sit on them. Some will go up, some won't, you know. Anyway, this is what we got for you tonight. Wow. Look how just, look at it. It's so bright. Look. <laughs> the gold is blinding. Everybody knows what this is. The Jordan 6 DMP with the black and gold box. I think that's a pretty fresh box for the shoe. Pretty nice. Uh... As it reads here, Air Jordan 6 Retro DMP, colorway black, metallic gold black, and this is a size 8. Of course, that's not my size. I'm a 10 and a half, but I do have uh, three or four pairs coming that I will be selling. Uh, you can look those shoes up on my Facebook page, JD Dope Kicks. I'll put that down here in a little bit. Uh, you can grab them up there. If you weren't able to get any. Okay, once we hit the inside, we have the the Unite tissue paper. Kind of see that. Might be a little hard to see. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because the, uh, the granddaughter's sleeping. There's one for you. Woo! These. Woo! And... Yahtzee, the Jordan, <laughs> thank you for that, the Jordan 6 DMP, uh, off first glance, mama, tell me what you think. I really like it, I feel like I've seen this shoe before, I really you like, have. I really like the shoe, it's, I like, I like the colors, uh, I like it, nice. Uh, show yours, it's got the little hang tag on it. It's like a dog tag. Yeah, man, these, the, oh. And that smell, I'll tell you what, uh, I thought the shoes were going to be pretty fresh anyway. Anyway, These babies are cold-blooded. Yes, I'm taking it back to the early, mid-80s. Cold, 
blooded right here. And if you missed out on these, please check your sources so you can get some more. I know Saturday they sold out, Sneakers sold out, Champs sold out, Hibbit sold out, Foot Locker sold out. I want to say they're restocked, Foot Locker, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But man, this shoe is absolutely beautiful right here. One of my one of my better pickups for the year. Very, very nice. We'll start with the uh outsole. You got white. Oh, uh, actually that's a little fluorescent. Or what do you call that? Translucent. Black with the gold jump man right there. We'll go to the ass end. You got your black jump man stitch with the gold two three. And your uh, little gold bar here on the, what you call that, a heel tab. We go to the side. Again, your translucent here with your gold. With your white inside of that also. Gold, black. Uh, Leather-wise, that's not exactly, what would you call that? Mm -hmm. Not suede. That's probably like a new butt. Uh, uh, is it? I mean, it no, feels like it. What is like the it? thing say? What is the shoe box say? It, I don't think it says. Don't say. But uh, I, I don't know if I... It, uh, it might be. It's, if it's not a new bucket, it's very darn close. Very darn close. Uh, you got your gold jump man there. You got your little lace lock with the gold jump man there, of course. Your tongue that says Jordan right there. Overall, this was a beautiful shoe. If uh, you were missing out, if you weren't able to pick that up, this shoe is very, very, very nice. Uh, where are we going numbers tonight? Um, I really like this. I'd probably say eight and a half, nine. Uh, I agree. I'm going to go nine. And as I told you guys before, I am not a huge Jordan 6 person. Uh, I do have the 6 breads. They're somewhere around here. Whoa. I do have the six breads. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Uh, I think this one is better. I'm going to have to agree with my mom on that 100%. That DMP is fresh. That is really, really nice. Now let's see if they can keep up with some more heat. And, uh... Yeah, retail for $200. Uh, I think if you can find them in the stores, still $200. I think on StockX, they're bouncing in between $225, $245, somewhere in there. eBay, pretty much the same. Uh, Goat, you know how they are. They're up $250, maybe a little more. But uh, definitely a dope shoe. Let me know down in the comments. Did you guys huh. pick this? Oh, I'll let you read that. If you, did you guys that. pick? I have my glasses on. Did you guys pick this up? Did you miss out on the raffle? Like I said, I was able to win. We get four pairs. Mm -hmm. I had the whole team on it. Uh, my co-host, my producers, the whole team was there. And we hit four times on these. So Saturday was a very good day. And on the back of that gold tag, Mama just brought to my attention. It reads, I might need to put my glasses on. I can read it. I'm going to have the producer read it because neither one of us can see it. Okay. What's it say? It says, uh. Air Jordan VI, June 12th, 1991, defining moment, MJ's first professional championship. Air Jordan 6, that's what oh, yeah. the VI stands for. And uh, I feel good about this purchase. And I haven't felt too good about my last few. We hit a home run on this one. So again, let me know down in the comments what you think. As I said, also, if you're interested in a pair, I think I got another a uh, couple size 8 to size 9. I can't remember what it is, but they should be here in a couple days. So if you're interested, like I said, jump on over to uh, JD Kicks. Dope Kicks. Dope Kicks. And uh, I'll throw these shoes on you. If you're interested, you can message me there or message me on Instagram. Um, also, a awesome drop, or actually I should say shock drop, Sunday night was the Jordan 5, the fire red shock dropped. At 8, at, at eight yeah, on the dot. At 8 as on the, as the dot. Show as soon as the last dance came on, and uh, I can't think of the app I found it. Uh, something, Jumpman123, whatever it is on Twitter, uh, I got to send a shout out to him because 
shock drops, restocks. He hits that on Twitter. I get the notifications. And your boy was able to win a pair early. Sneakers, uh, sneakers uh, app notified me that they were dropping right when, the, right when the show came yeah, on. Yeah, so I, I found out a couple minutes before. So I was right in line. Had no problem getting a pair. Uh, those will be released next month on the 2nd. So when I get those in, which should be sometime this week, I can do an early release, which quite a few other people already talked about them already. But, you know, we do what we do here. So uh, we'll be discussing those shoes here in a couple weeks. Uh, what else is coming up that I wanted to get or want to discuss? Um, I think that's about it because I about blew my wad for uh, the month of April. Yeah, you're out, you're out here in the streets blowing your wad. Now, see, this is a PG program. I'm just this is saying, a, you this said is a PG it. program. See, <laughs> <laughs> you said it. But yeah, I pretty much got what I wanted for the month of April. So right now, I'm not. I'm just picking up things on clearance, things that I wanted earlier that I was not going to pay retail for. Uh, oh, I also won the raffle on the new Yeezys too. We'll be doing a. Uh, Review on that. Like I said, Thursday, Saturday. They'll be here Thursday. Thursday. Like I said, Saturday was a very, very, very good day for sneakers over 50. Uh, probably one of the best days of the year besides the uh, Jordan 85s. During a good day. I can't complain at all. So, again, Jordan 6, DMPs. We dug them. So we bought it. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Peace.